Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing all right today. Today, we're going to take a look at microeconomics and macroeconomics. This should be a short and sweet video that is going, that is building your understanding of the foundations of IB economics. And then this will be a, one of the videos in the series that I'm putting together so that students, when they begin the path, the two-year path, most of you, through IB economics, you have an understanding of some really basic concepts that you'll need throughout the whole course of study. So microeconomics and macroeconomics. What, what's the difference? Microeconomics is deals with the micro, the small, like a microscope, right? A microscope to see small things. So microeconomics deals with smaller, discrete economic agents, fancy word for things, economic people, and their reactions to changing events. So an agent could be a consumer, it could be a producer, it could be the government, it could be society as a whole, right? And the study of microeconomics looks at the level of the individual, the individual entity, the individual firm, which is a company, right, a business, the individual consumer, the individual worker, and what are the decision processes, the motivations that they have that make their particular decisions come to come to the surface, right? So a good microeconomic thing is like, hey, I want to start a, I want to start a stand on the side of the road, and I'm going to sell hamburgers. Okay, so. I start selling hamburgers, and on a micro level, I'm the producer, right? I'm producing hamburgers, and I'm deciding on a price, and there's going to be people that are going to be walking by that go, oh, yeah, I'm hungry. That smells good, and they're going to, they're going to consume my hamburger. I'm producing the hamburger. They consume it, and it's going to be for a certain price. Well, you could take that whole interaction. It's a microeconomic interaction, one person producing, one person buying a hamburger, and graph that out. And there you could then analyze this on a micro level. So that's microeconomics. Macroeconomics takes a wider view and considers such things as measuring all the economic activity in an economy, right? Things like inflation, unemployment, and the distribution of income in the whole economy. So Mac micro deals with, you know, an individual people and their consuming and producing willingness and ability to do so. Macro says, hey, hey, okay, so I live in Santiago, Chile. So, okay, in Chile, what... In, instead of talking about a hamburger stand on the side of the road in Santiago, let's talk about all food consumption in, in, in Chile as a country as a whole. Macro is a whole, is a look at the whole economy. And you can look at aspects of that economy like, you know, uh, I don't know, restaurant food sales or something if I had a restaurant. Um, and if you the think about macroeconomics, macroeconomics, think about each country around the world as like a little bubble. Right? There's a little bubble over every country on the earth, and every little country inside that bubble is the macro world, the macro economy of the United States, the macro economy of Saudi Arabia, right? of Indonesia, of Australia, of China, of the Ukraine, Italy. They all have this bubble over it, and the, ac the economic activity that goes on inside those bubbles is the macroeconomic activity. So it's the sum of the behaviors of all consumers and all firms or the business sector. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. A quick look at the differences of microeconomics and macroeconomics and continuing in our series of the foundation of IB economics. Talk to you in a bit.